have you taken ownership yet of yourself, of your health, of your vitality? Well, that's what we're going to be talking about today in this live stream. Hello, my name is Kerry Norton, and this is the Happy Healthy Pain-Free Community. And today we're going to be really talking about like what it means to truly own yourself, to truly own yourself, your health, your vitality, and to take back that power and control in order that you can live a fully happy, healthy, pain-free life, right? That's what we're all about here in this community. That is what we come and talk about here is about being free from chronic pain and how we do that. How do we do that? How do we actually put that into practice for ourselves and our bodies? Now, I was um, super moved the other day when I was on a call with one of my community and they express like, wow, I just want to reclaim ownership of my body. How powerful is that? I want to reclaim ownership of my body because somewhere along the line, we gave that away. Somewhere along the line in the process of pain management, we gave away that ownership. We gave the power and the control of our health to somebody else, to something else, to this pain management cycle. Yeah. So hi, everyone out there watching live. And hello to anyone who's catching this on the replay. If you are watching on the replay, I would love to hear from you. Pop in the comments, hashtag replay post your comments and your questions because I'm going to come back and I'm going to look at all of those later and I can answer your questions that you might have. Now, you might be a bit confused because usually I come live at one, so I'm a bit early today because I just wanted to get on here and get started and talking to you about this super interesting topic of self-ownership and how self-ownership and owning yourself is the key to pain freedom, right? It's the key to pain freedom. Hi, out there, if you're watching live, you can um, comment. I'm using StreamYard today, so um, you can tell me your name in the comments and I'm going to see that. Have you given away ownership of your body? Now, what do I mean by that? What do I mean by ownership of your body? It's like, of course, I own my own body you know, but I'm just wondering, and I, I, I like to use this example of um, renting and buying a house. Um, I'm in the process at the moment of I'm renting, but um, as what happens when we're renting, when we don't own the home that we live in, things can happen that are outside of our control. We don't have the power and the freedom and the control over the place that we live. So, you know, I can't just redecorate or put wallpaper up and things. It's not mine. I don't own it. Therefore, I don't have the ultimate power and control over it. And also, there's not that safety and security of owning your own home. We are actually in the process of moving out. So we're going to be leaving this home soon because the person that owns it would like to sell it. Wow. Hmm. So when I don't own my own home, when I don't have ownership of my own space, it can affect how safe I feel, right? How secure I am and affect how, you know, I might have to move or relocate at just two months notice. So how does this compare to my body, right? How I'm trying to make this comparison between our homes that we live in and our bodies that are also our homes, right? We also live in our bodies and we are at home in our bodies. So when we are renting our home, it's a bit like the pain management journey that we might have been going on. So we 
give over the ownership and the control to the doctors or the physios or the osteopaths or the chiropractors or the acupuncturists or the Reiki masters or the massage therapists or whoever it is that we are enlisting and entrusting in our pain recovery journey. In that moment, we are we're making a transaction. We are paying for their help, for their support, their advice, and they're giving us something. But as soon as we stop, that transaction stops, doesn't it? So my physio or my massage therapist, they're not coming to my house and giving me a massage when I'm not paying them to do that, when I'm not booking them in and, you know, scheduling that time for them to do that. And so maybe I, I want that massage, but I don't have the money or I want that massage, but my massage therapist doesn't have the time. Or I have to travel for it. But when I own my own home, when I um, when I the massage comes from within me, if that makes sense, I don't need to travel anymore. I don't need to keep seeking and searching outside of myself for it. I already have it. It's mine. I own it. OK, and so making a bad, <laughs> making some bad comparisons here, but back to this comparison of, of owning your home. So when I own my home, I have to take ownership of it. I have to save up a deposit. I have to go out and get a mortgage broker, get, get a mortgage and a, for a mortgage broker and, and enlist solicitors and estate agents and pay fees and you know and all of those things and interest and get surveys done and there's a lot of that i have to put in there's a lot of commitment that i have to lay out in the outset in order to take ownership of my home and that's very similar to shifting from the pain management journey over to the pain recovery journey. I have to make a commitment to myself. I have to make a commitment to myself, my health, my vitality at the outset. And that can be super scary. Yeah, it can be super scary to go out and get a mortgage. But nobody's going to give me ownership of a house unless I commit my time, my energy, my finances to actually going out and investing in it, yeah? And your body is not going to give you ownership of it unless you take the time, the energy, and the commitment, the financial investment to actually own it, to commit to it. It's worth millions, yeah? This is what my um, the lady that I was speaking to the other day had recognized that ownership of her body, ownership of her health, it's worth millions. It's worth millions. And so if we want to wire those neural pathways from my brain that, that knows that I'm worth millions to my body, then I'm going to have to invest. I'm going to have to invest my time, my energy, my resources into that ownership. And that can be scary. That can be really hard, right, to make that shift, to go from kind of this payment, you know, pay per hour per session kind of therapy where I give the power and the, the, the energy over to somebody else to help me, fix me, yeah, stretch this, stick needles in that ultrasound this give me exercises you know we're doing all of these things going from this blaming doing sorry blaming viewing doing approach that i talk about the old way how we blame something yeah whether it's the pillow or the chair or the accident that we had or the misdiagnosis or the degenerative discs or the weight gain or whatever it is that we're blaming there's usually something though right there's usually something outside of our control that we blame and then we want to view it we want to we start looking at it you know poking at it and prodding it and stretching it and exercising it, MRIing it 
we're viewing it in a certain way it's, it's a problem yeah we view it as a problem we view it we want to look at it we want to see it we want to like touch it manipulate it pull it and then we want to do something about it we want to do something going to seek out some kind of help some doing whether it be through exercise through diet through um, supplements or medication or surgery I want to do something. I blame, I view, and I do. And it's hard to shift. It can be challenging, right? To go from that model, blaming, viewing, doing, over to a model, a new way of looking at things, where the answers that we seek come from within, where we stop the seeking, the searching, we take ownership of ourselves for ourselves. And in this, we stop. Whew. Just feel how that feels to stop, to stop seeking, to stop searching, to stop pursuing the pain, pursuing the problem, to just take a moment, take a breath, to stop. Stop. We look. We look at what's going on. We look, not outside, not outside and looking at MRIs or looking at x-rays or, you know, looking for therapists or treatments or supplements or diets or medications that are going to somehow cure us or take this away. But we look inside, begin to look inwards. And when we're looking, it was shining a light into those dark places. Yeah. Pain likes to hide in the dark. It likes to hide in the dark. And when we start to shine a light on it and we start to look at it and look at what's really causing it, what's really at the root cause of our pain, of our discomfort, it can get a bit challenging and a bit scary and we want to run away we might make that appointment and somehow we find a way not to attend we find a way not to follow through not to take ownership of ourselves not to take ownership of our health of our vitality but to sink back into that old way that comfortable way because even though it is excruciatingly painful it's got a bit comfortable now we've become comfortably numb in so much pain but feeling nothing and so looking can be a bit more challenging than it sounds looking inwards looking deeply at the root cause in the dark places And then once we have looked and something has revealed itself to us, then it's our job to listen. Then we can listen. We get quiet, we get still, we've stopped. We've given it our attention. And all of a sudden it can stop screaming loudly. It's been screaming so loudly at us because we were blaming and viewing and doing for so long. It went from a whisper. The body started to whisper to us once upon a time, telling us our, our needs, like what it needed in order to feel safe, in order for us to own it, to, to embody it. And when we didn't hear, just like the baby that cries starts softly. And when we don't hear, when we're not attending, attuned to its cries, it gets louder and louder and louder until you can no longer ignore it. You can no longer ignore the pain. It forces you to go out and seek 
blame view do pursue? So in this new way, we listen. And it might take some practice, right? It might take a little bit of time to get used to that, to become attuned to that. You know, those like gut feelings that you might get. Yeah. Yeah. Does anybody know that feeling of that intuition that you might get? Like, like I need to slow down here. I need to slow down here and then something like flies in front of you when you're driving. Mm. Thank you. Thank you, universe. Thank you, intuition. And if we get still enough, if we get quiet enough, if we attune ourselves to listening enough, then those messages, they are always there. They are always coming. They come thick and fast. And then the body can stop shouting. Then the pain can stop screaming at you. Yeah, it can stop raging at you. When we stop, when we look and we listen. And so these are the skills that we need to learn in order to reclaim ownership of our own bodies, in order to send the signal of safety to the body, of security. When I own my own body, when I own my own home, I feel safer, I feel more secure, I have more freedom. And this is how we do it. This is how we own ourselves. The same way that we own a home. Yeah, the same, the same applies. We have to commit. We have to make a commitment. We need guidance. Yeah, I can't just go out and buy a house. I'm going to need some support with that. Yeah, I'm going to need some support. I'm going to need an estate agent to act as a go-between between between me and the current owner of the home. I'm going to need a solicitor to draw up the documents and to do the transfer of the money. I'm going to need some money. Yeah, I'm not going to have all of that money myself. I'm going to need to borrow some money. I'm going to need a bank. I'm going to need a mortgage broker. And I'm going to need to commit. I'm going to have to pay the solicitors and the insurance and the the brokers and the agents and all of those things. I'm going to want to invest in some furniture. Maybe my new home's going to need some renovation. Yeah, just like my body. Just like owning my body. I'm going to need to commit to it. I'm going to need to go full in. And I'm going to need help and support. So that's why I created the Happy Healthy Pain-Free Community. It's a Facebook group where we talk all about this. Yeah, and maybe you're listening to this live or on the replay inside that community. And if you are, I encourage you to pop hashtag replay into the comments. And, you know, is this making sense? Am I making sense here? Yeah, is it resonating with you? Let me know. Or are you thinking you are talking rubbish? You can let me know that too, yeah, if it's not making any sense and if if it's not like resonating with you. And if you have another way of owning yourself, yeah, what does it mean to you to own your body, to own yourself, to reclaim ownership of your health and your vitality? So if you're not already inside, then I invite you to join us inside the Happy, Healthy, Pain-Free community. And if you need more support, then I am in the process of really cultivating something very special to help support you onto this new path, off of the pain management path and onto a path of pain recovery. 
Yeah, and it's called Root to Relief. It's called Root to Relief because in this approach, we get to the root cause of what's really going on, what's really driving your persistent symptoms. And we talk about pain, right? I'm talking here specifically about chronic pain, but it can really, it goes across everything. Yeah, it goes across all of our health issues, whether if they're chronic, they've been going on for a long time and you've been seeking and searching outside of yourself for the answers for relief you've been to see doctors and therapists and you know you've done all of the things you've changed the pillows or you've removed the the mold or you know you've changed your diet you've removed gluten and dairy and you've done all of the things but you're still suffering there's still pain or there's still bowel issues or there's still allergies or there's still you know irritation you still can't sleep you're still irritable you're still hormonally imbalanced then this this goes for you too so I don't want people to think that this is just for pain or that this is just for women it's absolutely not it goes across the board and so I invite you to join me for a five day virtual experience, right? In this five days, we're gonna dive deep to the root cause of what is perpetuating this, perpetu this persistent poor health, this persistent pain. And it's taking place in just three weeks time, three weeks, I can't believe how quickly time is flying by. Okay, on the 22nd we start, on the 22nd of June, until the 26th of June and we'll be meeting every day at 1 p.m. in a small held community where we together will do this transformative work of getting on the path to pain free, of getting on the path to owning ourselves, to self ownership, health ownership, reclaiming our vitality. So if that's you, if that sounds like you and you're interested, then I am going to pop the link in the comments or above in the description. And, you know, you can go and it's really easy, actually. I'm going to give you the link right now. So grab a pen and a piece of paper. Yeah. If you're listening on the replay, you can just push pause. You're lucky. Right. But if you're watching live, grab a pen and a piece of paper and go to this link. www.kerrynorton.com forward slash route to relief. Yeah, and there you will find all of the details for the five day route to relief virtual experience. My name is Kerry Norton. You have been listening to the Tuesday live stream. If you have enjoyed it, if it's resonating with you, I would love to hear from you. If you have comments or questions, please post them. I'm going to come back. I'm going to read all of those. I really look forward to supporting you. Um, the link again is www.kerrynorton.com forward slash root to relief. You can find it in the comments. And I look forward to seeing you on the 22nd to the 26th, where we'll be diving deep to the root cause of all that is driving your persistent health problems. All right. Take care and bye for now. See you.